Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig down here in the lower left-hand corner for those of you just tuning in. And thanks to everybody for watching on Periscope and Twitter, and also for everybody else tuning in across the Mid-South and beyond. Happy Easter to those of you celebrating the holiday for today. Things are decently quiet for the start of Easter. Doesn't look like it will stay that way throughout the rest of the day today. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Current conditions in the Mid-South in this bar red bar showing the forecast for today and tonight's temperatures and lows and forecast down here in the lower bar on your screen. You can catch the forecast information available here at wrag.com slash weather and also available at those social media networks you see on screen there and also between the website and the phone up above my head. So if you'd like to know more about the forecast, just tune into any of those locations. For those of you who can't stick around for the entire forecast, here's a look at what's going on over the next few hours. More clouds than anything else and more chances of rainfall off and on not looking at huge chances of rainfall but there will still be isolated areas of showers out there and maybe some rumbles of thunder as well as we get into the course of the rest of the day today so that again could be a problem for outdoor easter egg hunts celebrations brunch on the patio whatever it is you're planning on doing today for the easter holiday and temperatures very much on the mild side we're also going to be looking again at some very warm conditions out there with highs going back into the mid to upper 70s we're also going going to be seeing the possibility of maybe some fairly breezy winds out across much of the Mid-South area. We're looking at winds of around maybe 10 to 15 miles per hour, somewhere in there. Uh, doesn't look like a wind advisory territory good news on that but it still does look a little bit on the breezy side so something to think about if you're going to be outdoors for today thanks to everybody for dropping by uh, on our twitter and periscope feeds for this morning if you'd like to leave your uh, wherever you're located in the comments section uh, let us know where it's at wh where you're coming from and what the weather is like where you're at please feel free to share with us on that easter sunday morning at purchase knob in the great smoky mountains national park if you'd like to find out more of these webcams from the national park service all you have to do is go to the hashtag find your park on Twitter. Rhodes College in Memphis, the tops of the buildings not catching too much sunlight early on back in the mid to lower 60s for low temperatures and not much rain seen either. Likewise, not seeing too much in Germantown around the area just east of the towers in and around East Memphis uh, back toward I-240 and Poplar and temperatures right now back into the mid 60s let's see who we got here bp 1952 white station at walnut grove road very nice of you to check in thank you very much uh rest of the day looking at those chances of showers and a few thunderstorms. Most of the activity has been well to our east. Going to be seeing more activity popping up around the area close to Corinth and into northeastern Mississippi. Uh, excuse me while my computer probably does something wacky here in just a second. Sorry about that. We'll see again uh, about the storm systems coming on through in the next couple of days to give us more chances of rainfall. Let's re-expand that. Thank you very much. One of these days I'm going to get the computer to do exactly what I need it to do. More chances of showers developing mainly in the eastern parts of the viewing area early on and then more chances of showers and thunderstorms heading off to the rest uh, of the area into around the afternoon and evening. So if you have any plans for outdoors, you should be able to keep them. But once again, remember, if you can see lightning or hear thunder, you need to get indoors as soon as possible. You, if you have that, again, detection and you see it or hear it, you are within range of that thunderstorm of getting struck by lightning. So get everybody back indoors again. Let's play it safe throughout the rest of spring and into the early summertime just to make certain everybody's okay out there. Most of the rest of the day into this afternoon and this evening, most of the activity should be well back up to our north into around areas of the Boot Heel of Missouri, northwest Tennessee, southwestern Kentucky, and maybe into northeastern Arkansas. Could be stray activity just into parts of the Mid-South throughout the rest of the morning. And by the time News Channel 3's Todd Demers is on the air with Daybreak tomorrow, there will be more chances of showers and thunderstorms popping through and moving on into the area off and on throughout the rest of the day. So tomorrow the umbrella will be necessary, as will the windshield wipers. So keep those in mind as you head on through uh, much of the rest of the area. And those showers and thunderstorms will continue Monday night right on into about News Channel 3 at 10. Rest of the day today, again, looking at numbers back into around the lower 80s for Sunday, and take a look at temperatures back into the upper 70s for Monday with more chances of showers and thunderstorms out there. Mid to lower 80s for the most part over the next several days. 
That again is going to be the height of the heat for the Mid-South. Lows back in the lower to mid-60s across much of the area. We continue again to see the possibility of more chances of showers and thunderstorms. More kind of off and on scattered stuff more than anything else for the rest of the week. But it is still going to be possible. So if you have outdoor plans, keep that in mind and be prepared to get everybody back indoors again should it become necessary. Again, lightning in the summertime or any time when there's thunderstorms around, nothing to be messing around with. So let's be careful out there as much as we can. Whatever uh, app or platform you've got uh, for communication, whether it's tablet or phone, search your store for WREG Weather and find out more about getting the News Channel 3 app ready to go and available so you can keep up to date with what's going on with the weather. Likewise, throughout the rest of the weekend, keep up with the today with our forecast. I'll have your forecast on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 throughout the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network and with Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh early Monday through Friday mornings from 7 to 9 a.m. That's on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio, and on all these social media networks as well. So stay tuned for more there. We'll have more coming up. We're just into the first about 45 minutes of News Channel 3 Daybreak at the time we record this. We'll have more on the news with Nina Harrelson. Mike Sadie's got more on sports going on. And I'll have your complete forecast. Matter of fact, I've got to wrap everything up here because i got to get back out on set and let everybody know what's going on on air across much of the Mid-South. So we'll go ahead and wrap this up for the rest of the morning. So thanks for joining us on the latest edition of our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you'd like to see something on here specifically weather or climate related, please say so and let me know at austin.onic at wreg.com. You can reach me again through wreg.com slash weather. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, for Easter Sunday morning, and a blessed Easter to everybody celebrating the holiday for today.